and I am back with another review. This is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Rodimus. And this figure is my absolute favorite commander class. I don't care what you have to say about your Magmatron, your Armada Prime, your 86 Magnus, your 86 Optimus, your Jetfire, your Skylynx. I don't care. This guy's my favorite because I love Rodimus Prime. Absolutely love him. And when this thing was made, I wasn't a, I wasn't into Transformers at the time. I missed out on the entire War for Cybertron trilogy because I was into Godzilla. But when I heard about this thing, I had to have it because I was originally showed the 86 movie when I was five years old and Rodimus Prime became my favorite Transformer ever. Let's get to vehicle mode, shall we? So, first, has a lot of features in vehicle mode. You can literally lift up this and it has working hydraulics. Check that out, working hydraulics. You can also flip this part open and there is a cannon in there right now. But down here, there's a drawer, slide open and there's a bunch of accessories in there. You guys are probably wondering, if you like it so much, explain the $90 price for retail. Funny you asked that. I didn't pay that. I didn't get it retail. I got it at a toy show for $50. Oh yeah, I got a bargain of a lifetime on this thing. I got it for a leader class price. Because it's awesome. That was the drawer. Come over here, another compartment. That's where I have his gun. His gun's right here. I can, come on, pull it out. It's kind of jammed in there. Crap, I can't get it out. Crap, come on. Come on. There we go. Folds out like that. It's a giant sniper. And we can take the trailer and flip these up and split it open. Lift this up. Come over here. And bring this up. Spin it around. Put these shields out, and there you have a BFG, a giant gun. And actually, it's probably more supposed to be like this way. No, well, actually, better like here because that way the, a guy can sit there. I'll show you again in one second when I get this plugged in. Just gotta line it up, bro. Come on. Oh, damn it. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Give me one second. Okay, I had it wrong the entire time. This piece comes down, and that allows for more space. If you turn around and have the turret. Let me go get a guy to put on there so I can show you the feature. For example, here is Age of Extinction High Octane Bumblebee. I'm just plug in his hands to the turret like so and now he can wield the turret while being really short in front of it and doesn't really fire <laughs> yeah you can roll him around doing that you can take him just get him out of the way for now now we can get into transformation because that's pretty much it for vehicle mode you think the trailer transforms to the robot mode nope actual Rodimus component is right here. Now, let's get to him. This is Rodimus Prime. Yeah. His vehicle mode is uh, right, like, a, like a hot rod, essentially, but more buff. Here, I'll go get an actual hot rod. I grabbed a guest appearance. This is a uh, Battle in Space 2-pack hot rod from 2010, I think. Cool figure. Not the best thing. But yeah, that's a hot rod. This is Rodimus. He's more built. This guy's more of a sports car. Let me get him out of the way. Get him over here. Over there. Get into transformation, shall we? So first we want to do is you want to come back here. Pull these things out. That clip into the legs, basically. Second, same as the first. Out. Fold that up. That entire shell of the spoiler. You want to come over here and untap the hands from the legs. 
and you want to flip out the feet and you want to push in the wheels like so flip them out pull out these pieces right here and then extend the legs push in the wheels all the way so they make a click like that and plug them in just like that wrap these around it flip out the feet straighten them stand them up rotate his waist 360 degrees take these pull them down and unplug that fold these little pieces in right here turn his head around and take that the whole shell of the spoiler and flip it 380 degrees like this like that turn it that way take this whole red section fold up the arms make it easier and completely make 360 degrees turn then you want to flip the arms to the side for now because we won't need those and you want to collapse this down like so bring it up about that then this part is a bit tricky to do see this piece right here is going to tab in right here you want to make sure it shifts down so the head hits the collar and once you hear a small little click like that then it's ready to be positioned you want to take that giant gray notch and put it in that gray hole and it will make a giant satisfying snap like that pull the backpack and just snap it in like that accordion the arms to a certain position where you hear a nice little click Come on, 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 all right, give me one second, gotta click these in, maybe I should have done this first, actually, untab that, yeah, I missed a step, yep, you gotta click these in first, get that little, see that gray little peg, right there, and that's gonna go into that hole, you wanna plug that in, like so, Second, same as the first over here. Click it in, a snap. Rotate this back the way it was. Like that. And you want to do the exact same thing. Small click. It's like a soft tab. There it goes. And plug this back together the way we had it. Satisfying snap. Take these parts right here and reveal the giant monstrous hands that he has. Flip these forward, and then ro rotate them backwards. This little red piece is going to come in, and it's going to wrap around the forearm, just like that. Same as the other side. Wrap it around. Collapse. Just like that. Snap it in. Last part, a lot of people forget about this. Pull those out. Pull those out come over to the rims and you flip them open like a shell and you literally push them in and that creates a cleaner arm for more articulation that's a really cool feature I've never seen done before same thing over here and uh, come on there it goes that is War for Cybertron Kingdom Rodimus in his robot mode <coughs> This guy is very articulated. Arms go out all the way. He's got hot rod shoulders, because obviously he's hot rod, basically. So these go out all the way. His elbows bend in fully. His hands open up like that. They have a giant hinge for three of his fingers, and his pointer is on a single hinge, so he can literally point. He could say, end of the road, Galvatron, and put it in. And then stand him, his legs kick out like that. His knees are double jointed, so they literally go in all the way like that. His feet can kick forward, then not really kick back. Ankle pivot, a super pivot. And thigh swivel. Head up, down, side to side, left, right. Chicken hinge. Forward and back. 
but it's on a ball joint, so it's limited. There we go. That's row mode, and that's articulation. Let's get into accessories. Alright, so I showed the sniper, and it has two hinges. It's got two ports. One, you could just put it in his hands, like so. Wrap his fingers around the trigger. He can hold it like that. Or, you could take it and collapse it and just put it right here. Like so. Now he's just carrying around his rifle on the side, which looks really cool. Next, let's do the sword, and we must pull that from the drawer. And the sword is my favorite accessory out of all of these. Because this sword only goes to Rodimus, because it has a very specific hilt. See the pommel of the hilt? That is going to go in between the fingers, and you literally line them up. He literally holds the sword. It's not that circle jerk hand action where it's just literally a circle. Circle jerk hand. Nope, he actually has fingers that hold his weapons. He can swing, go, slash, all that crap. That's about that for all mode. And he has a matrix effect. But unfortunately, when I got it, it jammed the drawer, and when I was opening it, I unfortunately broke it in a couple places. So I don't ever use it. I'm just gonna put that back in the drawer. And it come he comes with these weird, stupid black smoke effects. I'm not taking them out. He also comes with blast effects. I don't want to go in those because they just look like giant frost crystals. Take his chest. And he's got the matrix. He's got the touch, and he's got the power. And fold it back in. And yeah, that's Kingdom Rodimus. And this is his trailer complete next to him. And that is my favorite commander class. Do I recommend him? Hell yes, you will absolutely love this figure. Is he worth the retail price? You know what? I'm gonna say yeah. For the amount of playability you get with this guy, it is. People overreacted with it. It's a great figure. I do recommend it. It's my favorite commander class. Maybe it might be for you too. But yeah, that's the review. I'll see you guys later.